I'll be tackling wiring the Bosch two pin knock sensors to my current harness. I'm using a wired and specialties harness, however this process can be done on the OEM harness just as well. Each knock sensor needs a sensor ground wire, so we'll be tapping into the shared sensor ground wire that is for the MAP and IAT sensors. The harness already has a signal wire routed for us, however we need to re-terminate for the correct connector. Cut off the OEM terminal, strip the wire back, slide the grommet over, then crimp and terminate the wire. Make sure to do a tug test to verify the wire is properly terminated and seated correctly. Now we can install the wire into the connector until you hear the click. I like to use a blunt object to seat it down all the way. Repeat the step for the other knock sensor. Here I remove the loom to expose the sensor ground wire. In my case, it's the brown white wire. Now I'll depin the connector to make my work a bit easier when re-looming the wires. Next, I take some wire and I make a rough estimate of length from the tip of the connector to where I'm going to make my splice. I do this for both sides. Using wire strippers, I expose the sensor ground wire so I can get this brass crimp around it which will allow me to crimp my two new sensor ground wires to the already existing wire. Let's terminate our knock sensor ground wires and then install them into the connector. Now let's loom and zip tie the wire to the existing knock sensor wires. Let's get the opposite end of the sensor wires ready to crimp together. I like to fold the wires going the opposite way before I crimp them to give them a strain relief. Get your brass crimp on the wires and crimp them all together. Do a tug test to make sure the wires are secure. Wrap up the crimp so no metal wires are exposed. Now I re-loom the sub harness that we previously depinned. Repin the connector, making sure to put them back where they previously were. And that's how I went about wiring in my knock sensors. Thank you for watching.